Today, what we are going to discuss is all about the graph paper. Being a teacher, I found it that students are doing graph. I'm not saying that they are not good enough in doing graphs, but what I felt is they do not have the basic idea what what is one millimeter graph paper and what is two millimeter graph paper. They just blindly follow the teachers and do it. So today, I plan to make this video just because the students have the basic idea that what is one millimeter graph paper and what is two millimeter graph paper. So without doing any further delay, let's move into the video. There are basically two kinds of graph papers generally available in market for our regular graph works. One millimeter graph paper and two millimeter graph paper. Now on screen you are seeing a two millimeter graph paper. Now let us just first understand the details of a two millimeter graph paper. Basically, as you can see, there are at each 10 divisions, you will see bold lines. And in every 5 division, you will see a semi-bold line along x-axis and along y-axis both. Now, I have placed a scale and shown you the distance between 2 bold lines, that is the distance between 2 10 divisions, which is 2 cm. So, for every 5 5 division the length is 1 centimeter keep it a note in your mind that for every 10 divisions the length is 2 centimeter and for every 5 divisions the length is 1 centimeter now I will teach you that how to find the area of this 5 block square in case of a 2 millimeter graph paper and also why is it called a 2 millimeter graph paper so let us introspect that what is there inside a 2 millimeter graph paper as you can see this 2 millimeter graph paper is divided into 10 divisions from A to B let us count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 divisions are there from a to b and the length of ab that we have found in the previous picture which is the length between two consecutive bold lines which is 2 cm so a b is 2 cm which is having 10 divisions so what is the length from this to this the first if you we consider the first square so what is the length from the first in between the two consecutive small divisions this length will be 2 divided by 10 centimeter which is 0 0.2 centimeter which is 2 millimeter that is the reason this graph is called 2 millimeter graph paper because the distance between the consecutive lines is 2 millimeter now coming back over here from a to b we have 10 divisions length we have as 2 centimeter so for 5 division length it will be 2 by 2 centimeter which is 1 centimeter so the area of a p o r that means the area of this shaded square this shaded square is 1 centimeter into 1 centimeter which is 1 centimeter square so whenever we use this graph papers for measuring any area for an irregular shaped object or irregular surface 
we always say that in, you must have seen in the books that they are saying that the area of the squares are one centimeter square so if you are using a two centimeter graph paper then in that case this five division squares are considered to be those squares whose areas are one centimeter square clear Now we will learn about one millimeter graph paper and why is it called a one millimeter graph paper. As you can see, similar as similar to two millimeter graph paper, it is also having two bold lines in which it has ten divisions. Let us just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two semi bold lines, which is at five divisions and now the only difference that we have over here with two millimeter graph paper that over there 10 gappings or 10 divisions means two centimeter but here in one millimeter graph paper 10 divisions mean one centimeter as you can clearly see mentioned in the picture as we have introspected the 2 millimeter graph paper similarly right now we will introspect 1 millimeter graph paper so i have marked this square that means 10 divisions and it's just a zoomed view of that 10 divisions now let us just find out that what is the side of this square the side of this square is 1 centimeter as we have mentioned in the previous picture the distance between two bold lines is one centimeter in one millimeter graph paper and as you all can see that there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten divisions on each side so we can say that for ten divisions the length if i name it as a b c and d so a b which is equals to BC is 1 centimeter. So, what is the length between these two consecutive lines if you consider the smallest square possible over here? So, the distance between these two consecutive lines will be 1 centimeter divided by 10, which is 0.1 centimeter as a whole we can say one millimeter so the distance between the consecutive lines in this graph is one millimeter that's why it is called one millimeter graph paper now what will be the area of this 10 division square over here the area of this 10 division square will be ab into bc which is 1 into 1 centimeter square which is 1 centimeter square hopefully till now you have understood that what is the basic difference between 1 millimeter graph paper and a 2 millimeter graph paper in comparison to both I can conclude that the distance between the consecutive lines in a 1 in a 2 millimeter graph paper is 2 millimeter whereas the distance between the consecutive lines in a one millimeter graph paper which is a very small distance right now is one millimeter another thing that i would like to conclude over here that when you are taking the five five divisions over here that is one centimeter in this case so the area of this five division square is one centimeter square and in one millimeter graph paper the distance between 10 divisions is one centimeter so when you are taking the square of 10 divisions on length and breadth both the area over here is one centimeter square so five divisions if you are taking the five division square this is one centimeter square and over here we are taking 10 division square which is 
one centimeter square. Finally, I can conclude over here that two centimeter is divided into ten divisions in case of two millimeter graph paper and one centimeter is divided in 10 divisions in case of a 1 millimeter graph paper. If you want to find the surface area of an irregular surface as shown in this picture, then you have to follow three steps. Number one, you have to count the number of completely filled square inside the surface area. Then, number two, you have to find the number of squares more than half feet. And the step three is the number of squares that you need to find is half filled square. But remember, the squares which are less than half feet, we will eliminate them. We won't take them from the picture. Now, I'll show you the method to do it. Now first let us find how many completely filled squares are available over here. One, two, three, four, So I can take 14. Therefore, the number of completely paid squares equal to 14. Now, before we move further, let me tell you two important points. Since I have used over here a one millimeter graph paper, so each and every 10 division, each and every 10 division square is going to have a surface area of one centimeter square. Therefore, the surface area of completely filled square is equal to 14 into 1 centimeter square is equal to 14 centimeter square. Now we will go for the next step where we will find more than half fill square. So I will change the color of my pen so that we can identify easily. So I can see this one is more than half filled. One. This is also more than half filled. Two. This one is also more than half filled. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
line therefore the number of more than half filled square is equal to 9 and the point to be noted over here is the surface area of more than half filled square also we take it as 1 centimeter square so therefore the surface area of these squares is equal to 9 into 1 centimeter square is equal to 9 centimeter square. Now we will look for half field squares. I will use some other color. This square is almost a half field square. This square is almost a half field square. This is also almost a half field square. Other than this, none of the squares are half field square. So therefore, the number of half field square is equal to 3. Now, the surface area of one complete square is 1 centimeter square. So, the surface area of a half field square will be half centimeter square. So, therefore, the area of these half squares is equal to half into 3 centimeter square which is 1.5 centimeter square. So from here I can say the total surface area is sum of all these areas which is 14 plus 9 plus 1.5 centimeter square which is equal to 24.5 centimeter square that's it so welcome back again i hope you have learned what is all about the graph papers and the concepts of graph papers are completely crystal clear to all of you so all the very best for your future exams and do well and stay tuned for more other videos with pen paper physics. Bye.